What's up guys? Today is tourist day. We are in the Red Square. We're trying to find it. There's beautiful buildings everywhere. Josh, this is the oldest university. This is the oldest university in the world. But it doesn't, I don't know if it works. By the world, I mean Moscow. One of the oldest, because there's more. But... And if you look all the way down there, that red wall is the start of the red square. <laughs> Let's go. What's up people? We just got back from a long day out in Moscow. Uh, really, really, really good day for me. I've never seen any of this stuff before. Places I've always wanted to go. Um, and it's not a place that many people go in my opinion. You know, who goes on holiday to Russia, that's for sure. So I'm very, very lucky to have Sammy. Um, and I'm very, very lucky to have her to show me around as well. We started off, we went into, what was the mall, the, the mall called? No, we went to Goom, which is like um, the oldest shopping center. We just had like a bunch of shops. It was nice. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff there, like Louis Vuitton and stuff, but like crossing that with the old, I mean, it was pretty unique anyway. Uh, we moved into the actual red square, uh, which is literally just a square, a square and like a huge massive square, people running everywhere. Um, there was uh, Vladimir Lenin's dead body in the square, there was the Saint uh, Basil's, Basil's Cathedral, and there was museums all around. So we actually went in to see um, Lenin's dead body. We just saw Lenin's dead body. He's in that tomb there. It's so creepy. This is like a plastic dog. This is like a plastic dog. And if you talk louder than a whisper, shh, quiet. It was a weird experience. He's, he's like embalmed. He's got a metal cage inside of his body to keep it like out. But he's like he's like completely embalmed. It looked a bit like a mummy, like a like a, yeah. like a wax. What's a doll? You have a bit to battle two swords. It looked a bit like that. Uh, we can take we can take the camera in there. There was Russian army guards in there saying no, nope, no talking and no cameras and and you couldn't have your hands in your pockets. And I, I got told to take my hands out of my pockets. At least, at least that was a bit weird. Mm. Uh, then we went over to Saint Basil uh, Cathedral. I mean that was, I mean this beautiful. I mean this that's the symbolic churches that I, that I wanted to come see. Like the big beautiful colours, the gold spikes and inside you know there's lots of art in there and it was a really really good experience. Um, where else did we go? Um, oh yeah, then just outside the red square, there's the eternal fire. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and basically, I think it symbolizes um, victory, or maybe it even just symbolizes like all the soldiers who took part in the war. Yeah. But it's basically to do with um, with the world war. And it's, it basically, it's the fire, and it burns 24/7, 365. So it's, it's been burning since the end of the war, I think. So it's, it's that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we ate at this beautiful restaurant. Um, it's actually it was like a, a Russian Middle Eastern Tatar, and Tatar is actually where Sam is originally it's from. It's like Eastern Russia, so a lot of like M Mongolians back in the day went into Russia, Kazakhstan, and it's just like. It's like a group of people in Russia, like basically. So we had some beautiful food, we had hummus, we had meat sticks, we had borscht, which is some famous Russian soup. Which I'm obsessed with. Which Sam is obsessed with. Um, <laughs> we had bread, you know, all sorts. It was a really, really good day. Um, and that's it. That was my day out in Moscow with Sammy. Also, oh no, well you had the metro experience already. Oh yeah, we had the metro as well. I mean, Again. the metro was cool. Oh, we, we saw did, the yeah. Bolshoi Theatre. Oh, we yeah. saw the Bolshoi Theatre as well. Which is not, like, it's not really an attraction, I would say, but, like, unless you go into it. Yeah. But just seeing the outside. I mean, it was cool. The world's best ballet dancers are in there, Yeah, so. it's quite, it's really big as well. That's yeah. nice. Uh, we should go to a steakhouse. Can we go one evening? Made myself a new purchase. 
now part of the uh, Russian army. A lot of, yeah, a lot of these are like really historical places and it, it's amazing how well they've managed to preserve like the outside. Yeah. Cool. Anyway. anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!